Let's have a look at the new safe confinement, the new sarcophagus for the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. What you can see there on the left, this very high structure, is the pretty much completed arch. You can see it's uh, almost covered with those tunnels. There are a few ones missing there on the left, but uh, it's pretty much complete and it just underwent the final lifting operation, so it's already at its full size. Back in 2013 it looked like this. The new safe confinement was much smaller. The final lifting operation had not yet been completed and it wasn't covered either. In October 2014 they had removed the old chimney, the old ventilation stack of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, just leaving the new one in place. And looking over to the new safe confinement we can see it's a much bigger structure, but the final lifting operation was still not completed by then. Back then you could see the workers eagerly inserting the roofing of the new safe confinement, so to say, because it was just pretty much a metal backbone. There are actually a lot of concerns about the financing of the new safe confinement, but personally I don't think it's going to be a big issue because the entire world, especially Europe, but pretty much all of the world is interested in the structure to be completed. It's a multinational project anyway, we're going to hear a little bit more about that later. So um, this is what it looks like now. This is what it looks like in 2015. And you can see uh, the works are really far advanced. Uh, the new safe confinement is at uh, its full height. The final lifting operation is complete. So let's have a little look into what's going on exactly. You see, the risks of the destroyed reactor, they are still here. Um, because there's still a lot of it inside. Uh, yes. Do you they know how much, uh, how much is still inside from the reactor? Uh, you see, a, a lot of practically 95% of fuel as a result of the explosion was thrown outside. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, we are not talking about fuel inside. We are talking about fuel containing mass, uh, some mixture of different materials which melted under very high temperature, melted lava masses. Nowadays they are concentrated here, mostly in under-reactor rooms. You see, uh, about uh, 200 tons of fuel containing mass inside and nowadays one of the basic tasks is to control their behavior yes and their condition nowadays the level of radiation mm -hmm. the level of radiation here mm -hmm. at the level of roof is uh, from one up till two rontgen per hour so nowadays people are involved just directly very close to the source of ionizing radiation. You can see the construction of the technological building. Then uh, people worked on the arrangement of foundations. So this very wall was constructed as protection. Extremely important for the Chernobyl side, for Ukraine, for the whole world community, is the completion of the new safe confinement as the protective, new protective enclosure. The basic task is to ensure protection against the still existing risks. When it's, so when it's over, uh, they will um, start to dismantle the old circle Right, and, right. Mm -hmm. That will be the first step. All the equipment which will be mounted inside and this year, 2015, will be the year when uh, our contractor will start the works on uh, mounting the equipment. The, this will be the first steps, the yes. first, well, the first steps on the side. You see the equipment, I'm talking about main cranes, the, the system of main cranes. Uh, this very equipment will be shipped, will be delivered in the United States. You oh, see, it's okay. a multinational uh, project. Uh, some works within this very project um, are uh, subcontracted to different uh, companies. For example, lifting operations, they are subcontracted to the uh, Mammut company from Holland. Oh, okay. Yes, oh, no. then uh, cladding, 
the works on clay. So these were works uh, completed by a uh, Turkish company, Okeanos, the system of main cranes. Yes, these were works are delegated to American company, PAR. Some works are well, subcontracted to different uh, companies. Uh, why did you, uh, I mean, you removed the chimney? At the mall, you can see all yeah. the ventilation stack. And now, at the original, you can see the new yeah. ventilation stack. First, it was destroyed at the moment of the accident in 1986. It was destroyed and then it was reinforced. You see, we are going to operate the new facility, the new safe confinement, within a hundred and more years. So we cannot leave this very structure. But why did you have to put a new one and just not have no chimney? The new, uh, the new uh, facility, it will need ventilation system. A lot of equipment will be mounted inside mm -hmm. and uh, uh, humidity, one of the most important enemy. So uh, temperature, we will have the temperature, what we will have, you see? Yeah. But a percent of humidity is extremely important. It will cover uh, the needs of the existing shelter still of Unit 3 systems, yeah. which still some of them, you see, some of them. Then the needs of the uh, storage facility. We need this ventilation system. Okay. Yeah. You see, for the, for the future works, these very blocks which were positioned at the site, mm -hmm. uh, dismantled and placed at the site nearby, yes, and then they were uh, decontaminated, fragmented, and these very structures, fragmented structures, nowadays they were placed into the reactor 3 turbine hall for the temporary for storage, storage. Yes. you see, for the temporary storage. I hope you're happy with this quite thorough explanation of the new safe confinement its purpose and the continued work on the site of Chernobyl nuclear power plant. But uh, now let's also check out the building site a little more. As you can see, we're just walking on the actual building site to allow me to get a good shot of the current construction works and the new safe confinement from underneath, so to say. So we have to walk alongside it. It's the building of the train stand. It's one of the buildings, because another one is in uh, Slavutich, where we live. The personnel have the possibility to improve their qualification and so on and so forth. Well, and now watch what's going to happen next. <coughs> that guy is telling me how to get a good shot. And, uh, well, just listen. I try to go there, from this place, like this, you see? You are a soldier, you see? Oh, yes. Like <laughs> okay, <laughs> got it. Is it possible for you? Okay. Yes. Yes. Because oh, I know you are a soldier, a sportsman. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's good. Don't be in a hurry. Okay. Okay. Okay, nice. You can... Oh, so this is this one or that one? Yes. This one, then again. That one, yes, yes. Here or here? I think here is better. This is better. Okay. I think we'll have to see what. Thank you. See the border. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I found that quite funny considering we're inside a military exclusion zone and on a confined building site next to the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. Well, at least now you know how I filmed this, the new safe confinement, which is supposed to be in place over the old sarcophagus of Chernobyl nuclear reactor unit number four by 2017. So, well, I'll continue to investigate how the process is going on the building site. For more information, uh, check out the links in the video's description.